I am Donna and this is Budget Friendly Cooking. This is the place where I prepare healthy and tasty dishes. So if you're looking for something like that, hit the subscribe button and I will share recipes every week. Today we're going to make roasted cauliflower with harissa and for that we're going to need few simple ingredients. Medium-sized cauliflower, 2 tablespoons harissa, half a cup olive oil, 1 lemon zest and juice, 2 garlic cloves, 1 tablespoon tomato paste, and salt. I have this beautiful um, cauliflower, head of cauliflower, which is about a pound. So I'm going to start um, cutting off that leaves, but I'm not going to throw the leaves. I just want to cut them into the florets. And I also have this uh, boiling water. Um, I'm going to salt it generously and start boiling that. And we're going to toss all this cauliflower into the pot. Just be careful with that. So you can bring your hands closer. This way it won't splash. If you drop it from far, it's going to splash. And I'm putting all these um, leaves too because when they roast, they are really nice and crunchy and beautiful. Uh, we just stir a little bit, make sure they are inside the water, under the water, covered, okay. And we're going to cook these for about five minutes, that's it. So this way, when we roast them, it will absorb all the um, salt from the salted water and uh, it's not going to take as long time um, to cook. So I'm going to start my oven to uh, preheat it 425. For 25 and meanwhile we're gonna do the harissa uh, and olive oil sauce to drizzle over the uh, boiled cauliflower. I have about two tablespoons of uh, our harissa and you can find harissa recipe in my YouTube videos so it's good to have it in the fridge and I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of olive oil trust me it's not a lot Mr. Olengi adds about two cups of olive oil, which to me is a lot, but I think that should be perfect for the amount of cauliflower that we are using. I'm going to add a little bit of um, tomato paste, which gives nice flavor and also nice bright red color. And he calls this dish um, packed like roasted cauliflower vegetarian dish packed with flavors and I like to grate the garlic or uh, crush it um, so they're kind of small pieces and not huge chunks so this way it flavors the uh, cauliflower or any other vegetables much better uh, nicer okay make sure we got all this garlic and I'm gonna do a little bit of a lemon zest too and then we drizzle the lemon juice at the end because lemon zest is packed with all the oils and the flavors so it's always good to when you're using lemon it's always good to use lemon zest okay and we can mix that it's beautiful color isn't it beautiful Okay, I'm not going to add any salt here because harissa has enough salt, it has enough spice and um, I already added salt in the uh, water so it should be well salted. Okay, we're going to scoop the cauliflower out from this hot top and I want to drain it really well and then I am moving it on the baking sheet with, uh, which I lined with the paper towel because I want it uh, to dry. I uh, want them dry as much as I can and then after that add the sauce okay they look quite dry get rid of this paper towel now and I'm gonna add our beautiful and colorful sauce and I put on my gloves because I'm gonna use my hands to mix everything because that's the best way spoon won't work here all right I'm gonna leave a little bit just in case and then just look at that oh my god it's gonna be so beautiful such a pretty color 
and we're gonna roast it on high temperature. I'm gonna set up the timer first uh, for 20 minutes and then check and see if we need to add some more. Okay, we need just one single layer. We don't wanna overcrowd, we don't wanna mush. We want nice, crispy, beautiful cauliflower. All right, it's ready to pop in the oven. Into the oven goes. I'll set up the timer for 20 minutes and then we'll check. All right, 20 minutes later, it smells fantastic and it looks even better. All right, we're gonna drizzle a lemon juice all over them, just like them. And it's good to drizzle the lemon juice when it's hot because this way it absorbs the flavor. And it's not gonna get soggy. Okay. And I think it's done. What do you think, David? Yeah? Okay, he said yes. <laughs> It's nice and crispy outside and these actually are the best parts guys nice and crunchy all right we're gonna taste now well yeah so while David was adjusting the camera I ate ate um, almost half of it guys it's so good make sure you make it um, so for people who are in Georgia and cannot find the peppers for harissa and cannot make harissa, you can use ajika. Mix it with olive oil or any kind of oil and use it instead of harissa. That will be good too. So I'm going to say goodbye now and uh, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to finish this up. I'll share with David and uh, i will see you guys next week with uh, more budget friendly healthy and tasty recipes um bye bye delicious